Uh, I'm Diego from Beesmaker. Uh, I started this uh, 3D printer store last year, or actually in 2012 with the Bukobot Kickstarter project. Um, I kind of helped the, you know, raise the money to create the project and start things. So here's the shop. Um, we have as you walk in, uh, we're in Pasadena, California, so if you guys are local, just come on by. If you walk in, we have a little sample display of all the stuff we 3D printed with our machines. Um, uh, got some cool little rubber stuff uh, with a new TPE type of material. Um, we got the wood and the wood filament stuff, the lay wood, um, and a bunch of other materials. Our our, our buko bot does about ten materials. Um, that we know of, including some nylons and polycarbonates. And, and over here we have our yeah, demo machines um, and production machines. Sometimes we get jobs, uh, people want 3D printed stuff, yeah. so these are some of the machines that we use to 3D print them. Uh, our little filament is all around it. And, and you have mm -hmm. the original? What? Well this is our version 2. Oh. The first Bukaba is actually in that cabinet, so we'll oh. go there in a bit. There we go. Um, this is the the oldest Google bot, I guess you might call it. Um, it's kind of sheltered here. It was in production for a while, but I decided not to do it too much. Okay. So it has all the old parts, <laughs> which every time we look at, we're like, wow, we went, we got pretty far. It's pretty neat. Okay. Um, yeah. And we have the, the B9 Creator, which I'm sure some of you have seen. Um, we just got that recently, so we haven't played with it too much, but uh, it's all set up, ready to go. Okay. And then over here, this is my dad, <laughs> uh, helping out and doing some production work. And then up above there is our little museum, uh, yes. with uh, the old cupcake and the thingomatic that I traded my friend for one of my machines, because I couldn't get it to work. Okay. So I can't get my thingomatic to work, so I just traded him for one of my machines. <laughs> And so now he's happy in, in printing. The Wallace? And that's the original Wallace that Rich made. Okay. Uh, yeah, we brought it in and we have it here displayed. Um, this is Rich's little corner. Okay. <laughs> His little R&D research lab. Uh, so, and a little bit of production going on right now with the Bukita. This um, is are all tools, extra parts. So um, we kind of shoved everything over to a side because we had a class this weekend. Uh, so that's why it's a little weird. Um, this is our 3D scanning kind of area, some 3D modeling. Uh, we have a computer set up uh, for the scanning and for some solid work stuff if we want. Yeah, and then over here we got the laser cutter. Um, for, some, for production, uh, we also do laser cutting jobs and a bunch of machines, you know, yeah. all the cool stuff. And this guy over here is metal. Uh, Say hi. Hola. He's, uh, he's part of Crash Space and uh, uh, he used to work at SpaceX, but I guess we were cooler than SpaceX, oh well. so he came over here. <laughs> but no, he's uh, he's been an awesome help. He came on board about a month ago or so. Already? Two months already? Yeah. yeah. Time flies. Okay. But uh, amazing help, awesome guy. And you guys spend a little time with him this weekend, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I crushed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there we're. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. That's the shop. So where are you? Finally. In Pasadena, California. Okay. It's 290 North Hill Avenue off the 210 freeway. Okay. And uh, thesemaker.com is our website. Okay. So all the info's there. Or I'm, I'm Rich Cameron, uh, known as Who's or What's This online. I make 3D printers. Uh, this is the Bukito uh, portable 3D printer. Uh, they say it's the only machine, only 3D printer in the world that can do this. Wait, you made this accessory to strap a, a LiPo battery on it uh, and kind of, I don't know, strap it, strap it to something while walking around and uh, take it camping. <laughs> <laughs>